is a certain surah of the Quran that the salah is not complete without what's the name of that surah al-fatiha surah al-fatiha we would know it off by heart and for those who might be new to islam they would have to learn it at some point early on we say in it alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin ar-rahman ar-rahim maliki yawm ad-din iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in it goes on, but I just want to translate that for a reason. We say, all praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. We're declaring that He is the Lord of the worlds. And immediately after that, we're saying, most merciful, most beneficent, most beneficent, most merciful, most merciful, most merciful. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Two types of mercy. One is broad for everyone and everything. And the other one is a specialized one for believers. Why the mercy of Allah? There was a call to prayer where Allah promises you that He is, and we know and we believe He is greater than anything and everything we might be going through. As I just said, we believe that this call is a call to success. And at the same time, Allah is telling you, no matter how down you are in the dumps, remember, your faith is based on the mercy of Allah. So he has chosen the two greatest qualities of his to be those that are right at the beginning of the Quran and to be repeated every unit of prayer. Your prayer is not valid without saying, Oh Allah, you are the most merciful, most forgiving or most beneficent. Because he wants to highlight that for you. He's merciful. Don't ever think I'm too far. What I've done. People will judge you. People look at you and they already think, ah, oh, look at this person. Don't worry. They don't know. Your relation with Allah is such that sometimes those who look pious may not actually be so behind closed doors. Right? And sometimes people who may appear that they might not be so close to a human being, might be so close to Allah, you never know. They don't worry what people say. Like I said, thank Allah. He is the one who owns heaven and hell. Because if it was in the hands of anyone else, I promise you, everyone would deny the other a spot in heaven. Right? So if Allah is telling you Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, right at the beginning of the Quran, the second verse, the second verse, the first one says, Alhamdulillah, all praise is due to Allah who's Lord of the worlds. But guess who he is? He is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. He is the most beneficent, the most merciful. And you know who else he is? He is the owner of the day of judgment. He will judge me, not you and not that guy, and not those people, and not the comments online, and nothing else. It's Allah who will judge me. Hence, he says, Maliki Yawmiddin. He is the owner of the day when judgment shall be happening. Allahu Akbar. Don't be let down. Don't be let down by what people say. Their judgmental statements mean nothing. And that's why immediately after that we say, you alone we worship, you alone we seek help from. And then we make the first supplication, guide us to the straight path. Guide us to what? To the straight path. So keep calling out to Allah, Oh Allah, guide me to the straight path. Oh Allah, strengthen me to do the right thing. Even if you're weak, even if you have bad habits, even if you're addicted to something that's unacceptable in the eyes of Allah, as you're working to quit it and to leave it, keep asking Allah, Oh Allah, guide me, strengthen me, protect me. Even if you're, you just did haram, say, Oh Allah, protect me from this haram. Oh Allah, take me out of it. Keep repeating it and keep trying. A day will come, you'll never regret. You will never regret. Trust me, you won't regret it. Have good company, have good friends, and inshallah, see what happens. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is indeed most forgiving, most merciful.